Once you've created your email template in Act Marketing Automation, you'll want to begin building its structure. Or maybe you just want to edit the structure of a current template. In this video, I want to show you how you can add rows to a template to build its structure. To start off, make sure you've logged into the Act database and go to the Marketing Automation area from the left. And then we're going to click Email Templates to access all of our templates. In an earlier video, I created a monthly newsletter template and I chose some of its global settings. So let's open that one to take a look. Notice here that I still have a blank template. The only thing that I've done is I've changed some colors and some fonts. And before we can add content to this template, we should place some rows here so that it builds the structure of the template's layout. So now I'm going to click the Rows tab on the right. If you scroll through this list, you'll see that there are lots of different rows available. And each one of these contains one to four different content areas with various preset widths. Building the structure of your template is pretty easy. All you have to do is grab one of these rows and drag it onto your layout until you see the little blue box that says drag it here. Then let go of your mouse button and that row will appear on your layout. You can add as many rows as you want. Just grab the row and drag it anywhere to the bottom, the middle, or even the top of your template and it'll drop that row wherever you release it. When you're all finished, don't forget to click the Save button in the upper right corner, and your template will be saved for you. Next up, we're going to look at adding different types of content to this template to build out the message that we want to send.